In the previous video, we learned how we can customize the help center of Jira Service Desk by applying our brands, managing permissions and making the screen more user-friendly. Now let's go on and click a quest type. Just like different vendors' help centers, request forms need to vary from each other. Otherwise, identical questions for different requests can easily confuse our customers. The default request type view has only summary, description and attachment fields which in most cases is not enough to describe an issue completely and, in addition, isn't friendly for the customer. Some of them are not even Jira users, so they will struggle with what to type into summary and description fields without saying that these sound generic and soulless. However, we should remember about asking the right question as clearly as possible. Imagine that after clicking book a room, the client has to fill in the blanks for due date and credit card number why would we need details about our customers' credit cards if they are going to pay by cash? And what the hell does due date mean? Check in or check out? The user will think about the poor support quality if we ask them irrelevant or incomprehensible questions. This is often the last straw on the camel's back, which makes customers go for another vendor. Just for the sake of consistency, if we use clear and user-friendly language on the customer portal, we should also use understandable phrases on the request form. Otherwise, they will have to make much more effort in order to get help. So we should take this effort on our side and customize this part of Jira Service Desk as well. So in the Request Types section of the Project Settings, we see the Edit Fields button next to each request type. On the appearing screen, we can add or remove fields from the request form and provide additional instructions for them. What's cool here is that we can change the display names of these fields, which will remain the same on the Agents view. For example, changing summary to which room would you like to book will look much clearer and caring for the customer, but we'll see it as the issue summary anyway in Jira. We can also hide some fields from the form and preset values for them. We may want all the issues from this request type to always have the high priority, relate to specific Jira components or be assigned to the same agent. So we want to add the field to the form but there is an explanation telling us that we should add fields to the associated issue type before adding them to request forms. In case of custom fields, this procedure requires one more step, such as creating those fields. We do it in the global Jira administration menu. As we click Add custom fields, a screen pops up where we can select a field type. There are numerous types of them, from checkboxes and radio buttons, through date pickers and select lists, to number fields and text fields. For text fields, we can set names and descriptions, but we can also define options for fields like checkboxes, radio buttons and select lists. For example, if you want to know what the payment type should be, we choose radio buttons and add cash and credit card options. The next step is to associate the field with the right screen. In most cases, the right one will be the Jira Service Desk screen of the target project. We need to remember to scroll down the list of our screens and click Update. Otherwise, the settings won't be saved and we won't be able to add the custom field to the request type. After we add a new custom field, we can add it or configure it to make changes. These two options are often confusing, so I'll explain the difference. By editing a custom field, we can change its field name, description and search template. When we configure the field, we change the context for it, so we can change to which issue types and projects this field is assigned to as well as set default values for the options we defined previously and change these options as well. If you want to add multiple fields to a single screen, it's much easier to do by configuring the screen itself. We can reorder them by drag and drop. When we are done, we go back to the request type settings and add the fields to the request form. Now we have a distinctive set of questions for our request type, but it doesn't make things that much easier for our customers. Despite the fact that the fields are assigned correctly, they can make the request form longer than we would like to. As we see, it should be much shorter and user-friendlier, even though it contains only the information that is suitable for the request. We can't change it out of the box, and that's why there are apps available on the Atlassian marketplace that give us this possibility. Extension for Jira Service Desk offers a couple of features to customize and optimize request forms. In the Visibility section, we can define context for showing particular fields and options. For example, when asking to book a room, the users who are in the standard group won't be able to select Spa and Wellness Center field if we limit its visibility to VIP and business groups. The same can go for an Invoice tool field, which is usually filled in only by business customers. 
Then Dynamic Forms gives us the possibility to configure which field should show up after selecting an option in the previous field. For example, we want to display budget field after our user selects yes for do you have planned budget. We just add this field to the configuration and assign the budget field to the yes option. The same goes for room facilities and disabled guests. We can assign more than one field to an option, so this feature can shorten the form a great deal. We can also create bundle fields in the administration add-on section, which enables us to add multiple fields to the request form as a single custom field. For example, when we need our user to give us their contact details, we don't need to create separate fields for full name, phone number or email address, because we can have all these fields bundled into one. In addition, when the user wants to add contact details of multiple persons, they can simply add rows. This makes the form look more structured and also saves your server resources due to reducing the custom field bloat. Other than that, we can remove None option and Optional label for selected fields on the General tab. There is no need to the None option and Rooms select field, is there? And if we have User Picker fields on our form, we can define which of them will be filled automatically with the currently logged user. Another app that can help with customizing your request forms is Issue Templates for Jira. With this one, we can create templates for Jira Service Desk requests and set them as default for particular request types. With predefined values for selected fields, the customer will only need to provide the variables that require his input. This way, you can speed up filling in the forms dramatically. So we see that by customizing the help center and the request forms on it, we can make choosing and submitting an issue in Jira Service Desk really nice and easy. And what happens next? We'll see it in the next video.